Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to my plant haul. So as you know, recently I wanted to get rid of some house plants. I haven't successfully gotten rid of all of those yet. Those are still here, those are still being cared for. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please refer to my plant declutter video, I think it was, where I basically show you some of the house plants I'm getting rid of. That said, even though I'm not supposed to buy any new house plants, I have of course bought new house plants. I know, I'm not supposed to do it, but I realized if I go really small, which is not the sort of thing I like to do with my plants, if I buy them really small, I can put them in little nooks and it still looks minimal and it's fine, as long as I don't go overboard on how many I buy and how many I place in the same spot. So. Without further ado, I have four new houseplants to show you that I've bought. They're all kind of this height or below. For me, that's small. For, for a few of you, that might be a large plant. I'm not really sure. Answers down below. So I'm going to start with the newest houseplant, which actually my boyfriend bought me yesterday because I was having a really bad day, as you do. And we were out in town getting a few things before we were going to go to the cinema. And I was looking at this little plant. I was just having a nose around my local plant store and I came across this little plant, I picked it up, I was like, look, it's so cute. And he was like, let me buy that for you. And I was like, oh my God. So he was very, very sweet. And he bought me this beautiful Peperomia Rosso, I think it is. It has a uh, kind of red on the insides. I don't know if you can see that there. It's probably the best way to show you. Um, red on the insides of the leaves. It's so cute. It's in like the tiniest little pot. I don't know if I can pull the pot out. Well, I can, but very gently. It's super small, guys. Like, that is small. That is a small plant. I don't know if you can see. There. It's so cute. So cute. And I keep it in... This is actually the... It's it's actually a candle holder from Primark, okay? Don't judge me. Um, but this is what the String of Hearts was sat in. So I've actually put this in here because, honestly, it just looks ten times cuter in this little black bowl. How cute. Honestly, how cute. And I, I think in my plan tour, I actually said, like, I'm not looking to own another Peperomia. But this happened, so very excited to have him. If you have any care tips on this guy, please let me know, because I don't know anything about him. I googled the name of him when I got home yesterday. Um, I knew it was a Peperomia sort of on site, um, just because I've seen it many times, but I didn't know the exact variety of Peperomia. Um, likewise, if I've got that wrong in any way, and it is not a Peperomia Rosso, or it has a better name, or anything like that, or you're just a general expert on Peperomias, please let me know down below, and maybe you can help me out with care tips for this guy. So this next plant is a plant I did actually mention that I would have wanted in my houseplant declutter video, and that is this. I think it is called a Sigonium, also known as an arrowhead plant. If I'm wrong about that, again, let me know in the comments. These are plants that I'm just not, what's the word? I'm just, I'm not knowledgeable of. I'm knowledgeable of calatheas and some alocasia, but outside that, and outside the regular kind of house plants you get, like philodendrons, snake plants, I'm not actually very knowledgeable. So if you wanna leave me any care tips on this one down below, please do. See if I can show you this closer up. I don't know if that's actually focusing, is it? Yeah, there you go. It's beautiful. It has like green and pink leaves. Um, it has a couple of leaves coming in. I don't know if you can see that either in the center. It's gorgeous. It was like this when I bought, like it's got half a leaf here. He's in a terracotta pot, but not in a terracotta pot. He's in this little black pot and he just sits in here. He does need a water. He's feeling a bit dry there. So I'm gonna water him after this video. But yeah, I wanted a new house plant. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start small because I had a lot of large house plants, but I kind of miss the fun of growing a plant, um, you know, from like a small one and then growing it up. So I'm really excited to grow this. Plus I have a lot of pink in my living room with the Trio Star. I have pink cushions on my sofa. So he's just gonna look amazing. Also, I heard these plants actually trail if you want them to, if you kind of don't prune them down. If that's true, again, let me know down below. I did hear it was a low light plant, so I should have that covered in this flat. But yeah, he's very, very cute. So, Sigonium slash Arrowhead. Beautiful. So my third new house plant you may have seen before. Um, I mentioned him in my uh, Calathea Care video that I did. I think it was the last video I did, and I used him kind of as an example of how to keep a calathea in a terracotta pot, which the answer to that, by the way, is don't. Uh, keep it in the nursery pot and put it inside the terracotta pot. But this, featured in that video, was my new house plant, still in his nursery pot. I believe, I believe, this is a calathea freddy. He's very, very cute. He has just green on the uh, the undersides of his leaves, so 
He's a green variety Calathea, I would say. He's in the terracotta pot, he's not necessarily going to stay like this, it's just a spare pot that I had at the time and he fits in it quite nicely. He still looks very full and bushy in the in the pot. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I certainly won't be planting him in the terracotta pot, but I don't know if you've got any suggestions on cool pots or where to get cool pots even better because I am struggling. Uh, please let me know down below. I am in the UK, uh, I don't know if that actually affects anything. If you know anywhere with cool pots for houseplants that I can buy. That aren't like super small and they're not super big. That annoying like mid-size that no one seems to be able to find pots for. What's that about? Because I can find large um, pots if I go to Ikea. Similarly, I can find small pots if I go to Ikea, just as an example. But that in betweeny size, other than I think this pot here, you just, you can't get pots that are in medium size. It just really irritates me. Uh, rant over on that front, but he's very sweet and I love him and he chills in the living room. In fact, all of these plants, but this last one I'm going to show you, chills in the living room. Yeah, Calathea Freddy. And my last new house plant is still a Calathea. Um, this is like, it reminds me of a Maranta plant. This is the only other Calathea that I have that is like a similar, what I say, a similar structure to a Maranta plant. And I think this is a Calathea, Calathea Bur Burley Marks? Burl Marks? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's also known as a Calathea fishbone plant. Again, could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please do. I don't want to um, care for this in the wrong way. I think it gets its fishbone name because the patterns on the leaves look kind of like fish bones. Um, the undersides of the leaves are indeed purple. If I just turn it round, you should be able to see the purple. I've actually trimmed this guy down since I've got him. Funny enough, I've had him about, oh, I don't know, three weeks maybe. Um, but what's happened is I think the way he's been growing, he has a lot of small leaves in the front and he had loads, and I mean loads of like larger leaves fanned out at the back but it just kind of looked a bit weird like I've left some of the larger ones on here because I didn't want him to lose too many leaves because winter is coming and I feel like he's gonna need the ability to photosynthesize a little bit more but yeah like this leaf here there was just tons like fanned across the back of the plant and I really struggled to like place him in an area because it was like fanned up um, so I have chopped him down and believe me I felt awful about chopping him down because all the leaves were super super healthy um i just felt like the worst person but what i'm trying to do is kind of stimulate the growth more towards the front and not just have these long leggy bits at the back because we don't want that uh, i don't like leggy plants of any kind and as soon as i see my maranta for example look a little bit leggy i'm very quick to want to sort of remove that um, and propagate it so yeah, this is my Calathea. I'm gonna call it Calathea Fishbone because I think that's what it is. I'm not 100%. Uh, if you do know, like I say, please comment down below. He lives in the other bedroom next door where you may have seen me film a couple of times. Um, and he's pretty chill, he's pretty happy. Some new leaves there coming in. Very large new leaves, which is a good sign. He's cool, he's cute, he's beautiful. Another Calathea. I may count them up at some point. I tell you what, I'm gonna count them up and put them here. That's how many Calathea I have. That's including large and small. So that is it for my plant haul. I'm sorry, it's not a very large plant haul, but I don't have a ridiculous amount of plants. Well, my boyfriend would disagree with me on that. Uh, I have around, I think it's somewhere between 25 and 30 houseplants. And I don't, I just don't like clutter with plants. I think plants should add something. And I, I've just, don't get me wrong. I am a plant hoarder at heart, I am but I really like to keep myself in check because, you know, I, I want my space to be livable. I don't want to be falling over plants all the time as much as I would love that. Um, so I just kind of have to keep myself in check. I mean, we'll see what happens because obviously I'm going to buy more plants at some point. I'm going to Ikea in about two weeks time and I will be very, very surprised if I do not bring something back. So stay tuned for that. I may do an Ikea haul, to be honest, because I love Ikea. I don't just want to do plants on this channel. There's a few things that I'm thinking of doing. Uh, so I may do an Ikea haul in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. I will take you out with me the whole day. It won't just be, you know, me sitting in front of the camera and telling you what I bought. I will take you with me. So that'll be fun. You can meet my boyfriend as well. So thank you very, very much for watching this haul. If you have any care tips or any suggestions for new plants or did I pronounce the name of a plant incorrectly? Any tips you want, please leave them down below. Are there any plants that you're wishing to get soon? Do you have anything on your wish list? Let me know. I'm genuinely very curious to see. So if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you'd like to see any more of my content slash plants slash anything, 
then please subscribe. It really, really helps. Have a great day, guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.